So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to set up IKs for the for your left arm, your right arm, your right leg, and your left leg. Before we do that, however, we want to hide all these objects that uh, are blocking our arms and our legs. So this is how you do that. So you go to your project Viking. Um, you expand the root bone so you have all your uh, all your bones visible now what you want to do is you want to if all of these are blue you just want to click them and gray them out so now you click here on slots expand and uh, one by one just uh, hide anything that's not needed Now we can get to adding the IKs. Wait, let's just uh, let's go here and select our bones, and we select these two bones over here, and we want to hide them as well. So just click here to hide them. Yeah. So now every distraction is out of the way. Let's just hide this as well. Now, you uh, in order for us to uh, add an IK. Wait, I did. I made a mistake. I accidentally uh, hit this hand as well and we don't really want that. We want this uh, arm to show. There you go. Now, select this bone and then select this bone. And make sure your bones over here are highlighted. Now go here on new and then click IK constraint and now what you want to do is you want to click over uh, here near the edge of the last selected bone so just uh, now you can name the name your uh, IK con uh, constraint we can call this L-arm-IK click OK and there you go there's your IK uh, constraint now when we click on it and when we translate it you can see the entire arm moves uh, moves uh, with the, this constraint and this really speeds up our animation process because otherwise we would have to rotate the entire arm manually all the bones manually now Let's do the same with our uh, right arm. So you select this uh, this bone here, and then uh, hold down on uh, control, hold hold down on control, and uh, select this bone here as well. Now you go here in the bones property and uh, cl uh, click new, and you want to add IK constraint. And now you have to uh, yeah, just add the IK constraint at the tip of your last selected uh, bone, like so. R the dash arm dash ik okay hit okay there you go we have our new ik constraint for the right arm as well now you do the same for the right leg select this bone hold down control select this bone go to the properties new click new hit ik constraint and uh, you want your constraint to be added over here next to the edge of your last selected bone so there you go right leg IK okay now when you select this IK you can see our bow our leg moves when we translate this IK so again hit this bone uh, select this bone select this bone here go on new hit IK constraint 
and place the new IK constraint over next to the edge of your last selected bone left leg IK hit OK so everything seems to be working fine however now when we select this um, body bone and we move it you see that our IKs are pinned in place and our arms are pointing towards their direction now we don't want that and in order for us to remedy it let's just see why this is happening so when you go here and you collapse the body bone and collapse the collapse the leg bone as well you can see the children of our root bone the children of our root bone are our body bone these two IKs our leg bone these two IKs the right leg bone and what we want to do is we want to we want our left arm IK and our right arm IK to be children to the body bone not children to the root, root bone we don't want these to be the children for the root bone we want these to be the children to the body bone so how do we do that we just select them click on them and just drop them inside the body bone like so now you see that they have been placed over here collapse the body bone and now they are the children of the body bone now when you move the body bone they will move with them so that's it for this tutorial if you are having any uh, difficulties with IK constraints just let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to help you out with that thanks